Hi Chris here from EDI Modesto. Welcome to today's two minute tip. Today I want to talk about how we can improve productivity by using ANSI Cloud. And I'm going to demonstrate submitting a large-ish type job to the ANSI Cloud and show you how easy that process is. So this is this is the job in question. You can see it's a, a sort of large assembly model, uh, quite a fine mesh on there. Uh, if we go to the mesh, we can check the statistics. 1.4 million nodes in this model. Uh, if we look at the analysis, there's three load steps there. Uh, and I've previously solved this model on my uh, on my workstation, just to go into some def deformation results there. And if we go down and look at the solution information, we can see it's converged in about 20 equilibrium iterations. And if we check the solution statistics, we can see on my workstation on four cores, it took 10 hours and 29 minutes to solve. So that's an, typically an overnight run. We can probably turn around one of these models per, per day. So one of the solutions you have available to you is the use of ANSYS Cloud, and it's pretty easy to use. Now I've got ANSYS Cloud available on my, uh, on my workstation, and to activate it, I basically launched the ANSYS Cloud app. So let's do that. I mean, what, the first thing we need to do though is clear the solution. So let's clear that previous solution. And then we go to this automation tab, open the wizard. And if I open the wizard, you can see I've got the ANSYS Cloud application. So I'll click on that. And it opens up this wizard attached to my account. You can see it says there, Chris Dudding at edimedeso.com. And I'm going to set this job going. I'll give it a job name first. We'll call it Large Model. Um, it's going to solve the analysis called Static Structural. We can see that's the name of the analysis from the uh, tree on the left-hand side. I'm going to solve it. You've got choice of a couple of regions, data center regions. I'm going to use the Western Europe region. And then what size of cluster do I want? The small cluster has 12 cores, medium cluster 36 cores, and a large cluster 96 cores. I'm going to choose a medium cluster in, in this case, 36 cores spread over three nodes. Do I want it to download the results after completion? I certainly do. And then I'm ready to go, submit job. That's as easy as it is to submit a job on ANSYS Cloud. So once you press that submit job button, uh, ANSYS will go away, it will uh, establish a cluster uh, on a, a cloud-based data center. It will update the data, oh, sorry, it will upload the data file of this model, solve the model on the cluster, then download the results afterwards. So we can see here it's just initiating the cluster and then it will start uploading the input file. At that point, uh, we'll we'll pause the animation and we'll come back when the when the model is solved. So let's just just wait in. It should start uploading the model soon. There we can see uploading input files. So I'll just take a break now and we'll come back when that's when that model has solved. So here we are back again, some time later. And if we look on the right hand side, we can see the job is now completed. Uh, completed in 1778 seconds, so around about half an hour. We can see we've got the results, equivalent stress. Let's uh, just have a look at the solution information. <coughs> yeah, we can see 28 minutes and 57 seconds. So from, from a 10 and a half hour run, we've got results back in, in half an hour. So that's submitting a job to the ANSYS cloud. Thanks for attending today's two minute tips.